And now, your local weather authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice blue skies out there for today. A lot of sunshine out there, and that's really helped us warm up for today even more than what we saw yesterday. As we get to tomorrow, might see one or two passing clouds, but for the most part, our sky condition really is not going to be changing up on us too much. So get ready for a sunny weekend. Thanks to our sky tracker, very nice look outside at those blue sky conditions. But switching over here to our weather alerts, it's not the case everywhere in Texas. We've once again got a slight risk outlined in this yellow color here, surrounded by a marginal risk in green, where there's still a pocket of energy in the atmosphere, and we're starting to see some thunderstorms developing in that location. So if you're going to be driving this weekend, you got a weekend travel trip, you're headed off to the east and central Texas, or maybe into Dallas, Fort Worth, make sure to have a good way to get weather alerts if you're driving while you're on the road, because these thunderstorms do look like they're going to intensify as we head later on into the evening, but they're far enough away from us here in West Texas that I don't expect really any effects for us. We've got really clear skies out there, not even a cloud getting picked up on our satellite and radar. So our conditions are going to remain very sunny, very mild as we head on into the weekend, but it will be very warm. Low temperatures tomorrow morning back down to about 56 degrees to begin the day under those clear, clear skies. Winds will be hanging around 10 to 15 miles per hour, so a little on the breezy side to begin the day. But as we head into the afternoon, most of those winds are going to be backing off. Now, any cloud cover that we've got here in West Texas, which is to say very little, is going to be moving out here as we head through the rest of the evening. But any of those thunderstorms that we've got there in central Texas are going to continue tracking off to the east. Now here in West Texas, again, we might pick up one or two passing clouds for tomorrow morning. You see a little bit of humidity trying to work its way into the basin as we get into the morning hours. As we head into the afternoon, really, really clear conditions take over once again, but we'll also see more thunderstorms along the I-20 corridor. So again, if you're going to be traveling this weekend, tonight or tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, make sure to have a good way to get some weather alerts because these storms do look like they're going to be very powerful as they push off to the east through central Texas and into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They'll leave us alone here in West Texas, though, so if you're staying in town, we've got some very, very warm and sunny conditions to look forward to throughout the entire weekend. Now, highs have made it up to 92 degrees compared to that average of 85. Keep that number in mind. 85 is the average high temperature for this time of the year. As we get through the rest of the evening time, we'll see our temperatures back off down. This model shows 59 degrees, a little warmer than my forecast low for tomorrow. But either way, once we get to the afternoon, we are way above that 85 degree average throughout the entirety of the basin. Even places like Van Horn coming in above that 85 degree normal for this time of the year. So again, a nice warm weekend to look forward to. Lots Lots of sunshine out there, maybe a, a steady breeze as we head on into Sunday, but tomorrow really just mild, warm, sunny conditions. 94 will be our high tomorrow, 93 on Sunday, up to 96 Monday, and down to 94 on Tuesday. We'll also pick up some thunderstorm chances on Tuesday at 40%, especially for the afternoon time. Keep those clouds in the sky as we head on into Wednesday and Thursday, resulting in another chance for more thunderstorms on Friday at 60%. Both days, Mike, do look like they have a possibility for some strong, possibly even more uh, severe thunderstorms next week. So we've got that to look forward to. We'll keep you posted here on ABC Big 2 News. But hey, the big story, this weekend's going to be warm and sunny. Well, I'm rooting for that cold down, and I guess I'll enjoy those 90-degree temps right now because those triple digits will be here in no time. That's right. Sooner than later. Chase, thanks so much. Thanks.